safety college is possible. I want to spread that idea all across America so that two years of college becomes as free and universal in America as high school is today. Boosting college graduation rates and lifting more Americans into the middle class. The president detailing his plan to make higher education more widely available during last night's State of the Union address. And that would have an impact here in the Miami Valley. Maytel Levy is getting answers about what it would mean for Sinclair, one of the state's largest community colleges. The people I spoke with at Sinclair tell me not only would the students welcome reduced tuition, so would the faculty. There are millions of people across the nation paying off their student debt. President Obama is trying to reduce that by proposing two years of community college at a reduced rate in a plan he calls America's College Promise. Good news for Sinclair Community College students like Troy Mallon. I would be ecstatic because I could easily put money towards other things such as car payments, gas, insurance, anything that deals financially that puts me in, in debt, essentially. The White House did say if all states participated, students on average could save $3,800 in tuition per year for a full-time student, bringing more foot traffic to colleges like Sinclair, which is what faculty like Kathleen Cleary want. It's just a thought, uh, but Sinclair has always been committed to access. We want as many students as possible to come to Sinclair and to graduate. So we focus on having low tuition and helping students um, get through and meet their goals. Under the proposal, participating students would be expected to maintain a 2.5 grade point average, and participating schools would have to meet certain academic requirements. States would opt into the program and put up a fraction of the funding. Students and faculty say it all comes back to investing in the economy and future generations. The learning curve is getting higher and higher and to keep up with the times we have to continue to make education important as possible so that we can continue to grow as a community and as a country. The White House estimates that if every state opted into the proposal, about 9 million students could be helped. According to the Associated Press, Obama said he will release more funding details in his budget. Maytel Levy, 2 News, working for you.